So after TU15, we've had a lot of things going wrong with the division. A lot of things that we've noticed. Um, there's a lot of people agitated about a bunch of different things in here. So I'm just going to go over this. This is just going to be a little rant video. If you don't want to watch this, that's fine. If you want to, that's that's okay. You know, leave a like or whatever you want to do. I really don't give two shits on this one. But I'm hoping that this video goes to the devs. Uh, dear devs, let's talk about a few things. Number one, is Heartbreaker too strong? Yes. Why? Mainly because a person with 100% pulse resistance can still be pulsed just by a headshot. In order to stop that, you literally have to have an extra 10% mod to put you about 110% or at least 105% pulse resistance just to be able to stop them from ever getting any damage. Number two, on top of that, you got multiple people joining in and then dipping out of a party so they can drop a decoy so that they can stack it off of their decoys and so on. Now, is that an issue? No, because Heartbreaker should be able to stack off that because it gives the same thing to the Eagle Bearer, which is headshot damage. So hitting one of those things, it works that way. But players being able to do this, that needs to be fixed. So in order to stop that, maybe in the Dark Zone, like you did with Shields, you should give Heartbreaker more incoming damage. You know, maybe that would stop it. Players would actually be able to die off this stuff a little bit easier. Or maybe you could put shields back to the way they fucking were and allow anybody who's using Heartbreaker not to be able to use a shield. You know, maybe something like that. So because, I mean, hell, you gave them so much bonus armor that they basically have a shield. Why the hell did you nerf it and do all that? I mean... It kind of doesn't make sense. You kind of gave a contradictory deal. Hey, we don't want you to have a shield, but we're going to give you a build that basically has a shield built onto it with all this blue armor. So, anyway, that's it with Heartbreaker. It needs to be able to be fixed to where it doesn't get any stacks on a fully pulse-resistant type build. Now, the other part is, to that, yes, shields need to be reverted back. Why? Because you have all this stuff and... You know different metas and things like that that are popping out just because you know nobody has any survivability and that's the problem the shield provided a little bit more survivability and that was it now people who could beam headshots like on pc and everything else th those people were fine people who couldn't beam headshots or didn't have mouse and keyboard they needed that extra survivability because they're just dying left and right Am I one of those people? Yeah, I've had a few times, but there's other times where I'm beaming people who still use shields because I'm aiming for the headshot. So I've learned to adapt. But other players that can't adapt, like on consoles who use the uh, controllers versus mouse and keyboard, they need that. So taking that away from them kind of screwed those pe people over. So I'm not doing this just for me. I'm trying to speak for everybody out here who needs this kinds of stuff. Um, on top of this... Uh, you still have traps which are extremely overpowered. Yes, I do have a trap build. Yes, I will talk about that. But still, traps are too overpowered, especially when I can kill a, a heartbreaker with uh, one set of traps and it's only a level two uh, skill tier or even a level three skill tier. I can basically kill a heartbreaker with one set of traps. That's way too overpowered, like extremely overpowered. And then you have the constant deltas. Now, not everybody is experiencing this. I experience at least three a day when I first log in, and that's frustrating. There's other people in Countdown who are trying to get a full group going, and the constant deltas we get needs to be addressed. You know, things like these right here, they need to be fixed. Number two, on top of the, del or the deltas and all that other stuff, you've got tons of gear that you could actually fix, like the Y'all Gear Mask. Why now, if you're going to put out there all this pulse abilities and everything else, why don't y'all change that y'all gear from health damage to 20% pulse resistance? So that way players can put that on and they would be at 100% and they wouldn't have to go putting in the mods so they can get more damage out. Why don't y'all change something like that? The, the hollow man mask, give it 20% pulse resistance instead of 20% health damage. That would be a genius move on your part. But, hey, I'm the one who suggested it, but, you know, y'all probably take this and just do it yourselves or maybe won't even touch it at all because y'all listen to other dingbats like Kamikaze Von Doom who suggested all these other nerfs versus, you know, just little tiny fixes here and there. You know, I'm not calling for a nerf to the heartbreaker. I'm saying, why don't you fix this right here and tweak it just a little bit? Just tweak it. Doesn't need a nerf for damage. No, it should have the damage. It's not that much more than having a glass cannon. But having it as glass can with all blues, 
it's the same thing it's just it has more survivability so in the dark zone it just needs to lose a little bit more of the survivability that's it make a perfect balance um and again pulse resistant type deal you know he shouldn't have any kind of stacks on shouldn't have any kind of damage and that's simple now the other meta that's showing up is bleed builds bleed builds are extremely strong now because of this but they can't compete with the pulse deal from the heartbreaker but then on top of all this pulse stuff you have damage glitches like y'all literally messed up and gave us more damage glitches like what the hell is going on here people cannot play in the dark zone without someone using the damage glitch you got people who are over here using the damage glitch over here in like pve as well now i'm not saying that people should be banned i'm not saying that because i don't want anybody to be banned for anything or y'all to revert people back but y'all need to just come in here and fix this stuff these things need to be addressed and they need to be fixed and we haven't heard a word about any of this stuff yet because y'all are sitting there just going okay we're going to work on the crashes because that's more of an issue which i get that the crashes and everything else are an issue especially for pc and i'm glad that someone found a way to fix it but y'all need to address this other stuff and it needs to be addressed soon and fast because this is killing this game off slowly and surely you're going to lose a lot of players to these kinds of things because pvp before tu15 was fun now you've got everybody running the exact same thing almost everything in there is just one way build and the only way to really counter it is to stay far away and glass cannon it or traps and that's it that's the only metas